Two weeks late, we still don't have Michigan's audit of the state's election results. And as our Grant Herms reports, although the 2020 election is long past, there are still new videos alleging fraud making the rounds on election night in Detroit. We continue to see these conspiracy theories, even as they've been thrown out in court or debunked, some of them here by us, but it does mean these baseless theories will continue to pop up even as we get further from the election. Three months after the election and misinformation about Michigan's votes still lingering online. From what I saw, there was not one ballot that showed up from at least 10 p.m. Uh, or let me say at least 1030 to the 330 a.m. Over the weekend, a supposedly new video from a far right wing site known for spreading false information. It allegedly shows a van dropping off ballots in the early morning hours of November 4th at TCF Center, claiming they came in eight hours past the deadline. The deadline, however, was when ballots needed to be turned into clerks, not when they needed to be delivered. Michigan is kind of its own we're going to talk about Michigan. It's very different than the other states, what went on there. Then there's the new so-called documentary from Pillow Company CEO Mike Lindell. The three-hour-long video throwing around debunked conspiracies about Michigan's voting machines, stemming from a human error in Antrim County early in the count. The error was fixed, and a hand count of the votes proved there were no problems with voting machines. The videos have been repeatedly taken down from social media sites, but new versions are outpacing efforts to combat their spread. All of it as the state waits for one of the largest risk limiting audits ever done with the hope of changing the minds of those who continue to spread lies online. We're still waiting for the results of that statewide audit. It was about 200 precincts or roughly 18,000 ballots that need to be compiled. At last check, Secretary of State's office said those are still being compiled. We should note that this audit could not overturn the election results and we don't expect there to be any evidence of fraud or irregularity. In Detroit, Grant Herms, Local 4.